The area father and human rights activist Charlie Boy has revealed the reason deaths don't scare him. He wrote, Why I go fear when I know say nobody comes out of this life alive? When I know that there is nothing on the other side to fear, I do not seek death. Death will find us wherever, however. So let's seek the road we make, which makes death a fulfillment. It's better to die laughing than to live each moment for this Nigeria in fear. Mm. Very sound advice because yeah. it's um, YOLO is one of my <laughs> principles of living, which is you only live once. Yeah. So it's always advisable to live your best life. But um, leaving the road to fulfillment when you die, knowing that you have fulfilled your dreams when you die, is the most important thing, in my True. opinion. But carry on. Yeah, um, I, I think what he said is very sound. Another thing is, that in Nigeria, one thing I've noticed is we don't really like to talk about debts. Mm, we we talk scared. about debts, but we don't talk about debts. We just like, we don't Around really, everybody talks about debt, like it's not going to happen to me. It's not going to happen to nobody me. Won't buy, nobody wants to die. <laughs> I know that nobody wants to die, but the truth is debt is inevitable. The only mm. thing that we cannot control is how we are going to die. Mm. You know, that is beyond our control. But I feel like people need to start having this conversation and stop treating debt like debt is something that only happens to people they don't like. Or debt is something that only happens to people that are far off from us. The truth is debt happens. Debt is going to happen to, to us. Each and every to one each one and every one of us. We just don't know when from it is dust going to came happen. To dust <laughs> we don't just know return. when it is going to happen. So I feel like um Charlie boy is one person that I know that is not really shy to talk about controversial topics or to talk about things that Nigerians may be shy away from because it's it's like I said before it's something that we rarely ever talk about mm. so what he has said is actually very sound a lot of people you know put away the thought of death and they live in fear for the rest of their life and I'm like oh. the truth is you better live your life now you are sure of today you are not very sure of tomorrow and Nigeria mm. is a country where there is a high rate of insecurity anything can kill you. Nigeria is a True place that. that you are praying to God. God, as I'm going out today, please let me come back safe. Even so, the police, <laughs> the people know, that are supposed to protect you so will kill you. Country, for a country that has such a high rate of insecurity and a huge rate, of, a huge death rate, like you can go out mm. today and you might not come back. Mm. You know, I feel like people really shy away from death and they put it off like as if it's something that's not going to happen and it affects their choices because a lot of people don't even live for themselves. You know, you were saying something that why we would rather um, die in laughter. Mm -hmm. than die in fear and know that you're fulfilled and, 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 and it was that you're specific fulfilled. come on about the fact that dying in fear in this country yeah in this country <laughs> because <laughs> this country is sickening enough yeah for you to now leave to now have fear to the True. problem so it's just better to just live your life to the fullest and just know yeah. that okay when i go at least i did it all yeah and you see there's a difference between people who acknowledge the fact that death is inevitable mm. and those who are still putting it off because when you acknowledge the fact that death is inevitable you your choices in life are more defined you know that okay you know what tomorrow may not come tomorrow may come let me just do this now people who have already accepted that they are more eager to take risks in life they don't shy away you know from taking risks because they're like okay i'll rather die a fulfilled person i'd rather die knowing mm -hmm. that i did what i wanted to do than die being afraid of what if i did this and this happened and what if i did not do it you know i feel like this is a conversation that we need to have and i don't know why people shy away from it people treat yeah. the topic like as if no ah if you talk about don't talk about it no the truth is it is inevitable and people need to start that's why even people that's why a lot of nigerians even have insurance because we just have this culture of like I'm trying not, to reject you know <laughs> so i feel like people need to start changing the conversation when it comes to that topic all right i would have loved to say that is not a portion but like nimi said it is inevitable so <laughs> We're all going to die one day.